All right guys, the video you're about to watch right now, it turned into a little bit of a disaster. I was going to compare Kodak Portrait 400 versus Lomo 400, and I put the Kodak Portrait in this camera, which I bought just for that video. This camera up the roll. So this video is only like quarter the length that was supposed to. I actually went and I shot around the neighborhood and I filmed it all. And so yeah, this is gonna cut super short. Do a little bit of a lighting breakdown and uh, that's pretty much it. So enjoy the short video. All right y'all, so one of my long time favorite models. I was like one of the OG photographers to shoot with her when she first moved out to California. And yeah, we got a lot of history. She's coming over to shoot and uh, I'm a little bit overwhelmed today because uh, I got a lot of options to shoot with camera wise. So let's just go through this. Several videos I wanna do. I need to test the R5 versus the GFX 50S2. I have a contact CVS uh, or TVS <laughs> coming in and I'm gonna compare it to this. I wanna compare two film stocks. That's why, oh, Thank you, Donut. Oh, so sweet. That's why I picked up this uh, AL1. I'm gonna put Kodak Gold versus Portra and also Portra versus Lomo Color 400. So I gotta debate what videos I'm gonna do with this shoot while also showing you guys the shoot. I even gotta set up everything and style and everything still. So yeah, you can see why I'm overwhelmed a little bit. All right, guys. Dakota, what's your what's your IG? I never do this. It's Dakota Fink. You guys know I love my room fill. See, it's very contrasty, warm. It looks more studio-ish. I try to go for like an unrealistic theatrical studio daylight kind of thing. Once that loads up, you'll see it creates like this beautiful like little blue ambient fill and it makes it look like daylight and then there's like warm sunlight coming through the window hitting her. I'm also using, so Nanlite sent me out their new projector mount that uh, connects with the Forza 500 and 300. And I have one of the gobos in there and it's the window gobo. Shout out to V Flat World too. We're using negative fill, but I'm trying to wrap in some fill behind her, kind of the side to wrap around her a little bit. And we have a Pavel too, just kicking out some warm light. And then we have the Nanlite 60, Forza 60 with its projector mount, just adding a little bit of a rim light to her head, just to make it a little bit more theatrical. And yeah, it's our lighting setup. I know I used to look at studio lighting as like super boring and just basic and just, it didn't really excite me, but, but the more I started to learn about cinematography, I got more excited to try to use those tools in photography Photography. So my whole approach now to studio work is trying to get cinematic results, whatever cinematic means these days. But yeah, let's just go over a little bit real quick. Trying to go for a like theatrical kind of daylight kind of look. So as if there's a sunset blasting through that window and then there's just ambient cooler light. Because basically how this light works is next time you're outside and the sunset's going, pay attention to the light. Everything that the actual sun from the sunset's hitting has kind of a warmth to it. And then everything else that's in shadows that the sun's not hitting has a bluer tone to it. It's because the sun's also bouncing off outer space and the ambient sky and the atmosphere and everything, and it turns it blue. It's basically a, a fill. It's like a blue fill light. This is our lighting setup for this last one. Dakota was begging to do a topless one, so we, we tried it and it just, just didn't happen to work out. Here's our other setup. Yeah, it's just like my classic setup right here. We got a room fill up there. We got a rim light, a little warm light on the backdrop. And then we just got our key light right here and that's pretty much the look. We have negative fill, obviously. This bounce wasn't really doing much. You see there's not much light hitting it. And this tiny apartment. So Donna's just always hanging out as usual. I can hear what you're saying now. I just doubled up my flight maps. And yeah guys, that's it. Apologize, wasn't the most craziest video, but now that I'm in this new place and I have a little bit more room to do other stuff and I'm in LA, I have a lot more ideas coming and bigger photo shoots I'm planning. Trying to figure out a kind of a new format for this channel on how to document everything and share tips and I don't, I don't I'm trying to figure out, I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, that's it. Peace.